Hello and welcome to the DSP Project, your fix of music production and technology. I'm your host Rupert Brown and in this episode we are going to be answering a viewer submitted question. I'm going to paraphrase here but it comes from David Rose and David basically wants to have multiple synths in one MIDI channel so he can play them and use his APC40 to switch between different synths. So I'm going to show you how to set that up. This is not an APC40 specific tutorial. Uh, you could use a Launchpad or Kuno or other sort of launch grid type controller would be good for it or I mean you could just manually assign it to clip so you could really use this with with any MIDI controller it's more of a more of an Ableton tutorial here we have a blank set with a single MIDI channel I'm going to open the IO page here and select monitor to in so the MIDI notes that are being hit come in you can see them jumping up and down here if I wanted to take MIDI from a specific MIDI controller if I had multiple ones I could select it here but I'm just going to select all ins for this demonstration now I'm going to add uh, some simpler instruments, select one, uh, highlight it, push command G to group it, open up the chain here and I'm going to basically just drag in some more presets but this could be, uh, you could use any third par party plugin or, or any instrument to do this with, let's use four. So now if I play them we should hear all four at the same time. It's actually quite cool but well, that's not what we want, we want to play uh, each one of these individually. So. If we were going to do this with a knob to turn, um, then I would recommend using the, the chain selector. Uh, if you want an explanation of how to do that, see my uh, audio effects rack uh, video where I talk about the chain selector in one of those videos which will explain that. But for, for what we want to do with dummy clips, I think the, the easier way is to actually use the macro control. So I'm going to select mini map and I'm just going to highlight the, the device on and off and I'm going to map the device on and off to each one of these macro knobs and that's all my mapping done and I'm going to rename these because we like to keep organized and things can get uh, very confusing very fast if we don't uh, get into good habits so uh, command R to rename works on just about anything on live one more synth 4 Okay, so there we go. Um, you might want to use, if you've had specific synths for specific songs or something, you could, you could use them there. Um, so now let's add in a MIDI clip. So what I want to do is I actually want to set the, the envelope. Um, so for this first one, we want to turn the, the first uh, envelope on. So we're going to select the instrument rack and we can see our macro knobs here, one, two, three, and four. For synth one, we want it to be on, which it is. And then, so for synth 2, we want it to be off. Synth 3, we want to be off. And synth 4, we want to be off. This only needs to be passed halfway, but we'll bring it to zero. Uh, or one, one other thing to note is it works. The envelopes work inside of the range that you have set on the knob. So basically, we have to have these set to full. And then our envelopes can work within the full 127 parts. So now I'm going to select that clip, duplicate it four times, coming back to the envelope section here. Um, now we're going to go for this is the second clip, so we want the synth one to be off and we want the synth two to be on. We want the, uh, ooh, we want for the, now select the next clip, we want synth one to be off and synth three to be on, come on now see, and finally select the fourth clip here, we want to select synth one, we want that to be off, and synth four, we want that to be on. Now one final thing we want to set on here is the, using the launch controls, this little L down the bottom here, is turn the quantization off. If this was set to global, um, then it would follow what we've got up here, which is currently one bar, which means it would wait till the beginning of the next bar before it launches, um, but we want it to set it to none so it instantly swaps between each one. So now if we come back here and watch the, uh, the levels of the little device on and off here, if we select uh, I want to turn the record off because otherwise it would record the MIDI notes. Uh, if we select this first one here, first one, so there you have it. Each you can easily swap between any uh, instrument using your uh, grid-based controller. 
So there you have it, David. Hopefully that makes a bit more sense. If you have any questions, if any of you have more questions, feel free to leave a comment underneath this video. That has been this episode of the DSP Project. I'll see you next time.